Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create your own custom view of folders in your Outlook mailbox. If using Outlook 2010, you create custom mailbox views by clicking the View tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Change View button in the Current View group. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can then select the Manage Views command. In Outlook 2007, you can do this by selecting View, then Current View, and then clicking the Define Views command from the menu bar. At this point, a dialog box will appear on screen. In Outlook 2010, it is called the Manage All Views dialog box. In Outlook 2007, it is called the Custom View Organizer. In both versions, it simply displays all of the available views and their associated settings. Here you can select any view that you want and then modify it or reset modifications that have been made to one of the selected views. You can also create, edit, or delete your own custom views that you have created using this dialog box. To create a new view, just click the New button to the right of the dialog box. That will open the Create a New View dialog box where you type a name for the new view into the Name of New View text box. Below that, select what type of view you want to create. Table, which lays out the information in a table like the Inbox folder does by default. Timeline, which shows items in a timeline view like the Journal folder does by default. Card, which lays out the information in a card view like the Contacts folder does in the Address Cards view. Business Card, which displays information in the view using a layout like the one used by the Business Card view of the Contact folder. Day, Week, Month, which shows information in a Day, Week, Month style like the calendar does by default. Or Icon, which shows icons for the items like your typical Windows folder does by default. Once you've selected your base view, select who will have this view available to them. This folder visible to everyone, this folder visible only to me, or all mail and post folders. Then click OK to launch another dialog box where you can further customize the view. In Outlook 2010, this dialog box is called the Advanced View Settings dialog box. In Outlook 2007, it's called the Customize View dialog box. However, the options that you have for customizing the view are the same for both versions. The dialog box has seven buttons that you can click to set options for your view. Based on your base view type, however, not all of the buttons will necessarily be available. Clicking the Columns button, or the Fields button as it's called in Outlook 2007, launches the Show Columns dialog box or the Show Fields dialog box in Outlook 2007. Here you can use the drop-down in the upper left corner to choose which set of fields you wish to see appear in the left list. To move an available field into your new view, select it in the left list and then click the Add button in the middle of this dialog box to add it to the list at the right. You can then select the field from the list at the right and reorganize its position by selecting it and then clicking the Move Up and Move Down buttons until it's in the place that you desire. Click OK when you're done adding and organizing the fields within your view. Clicking the Group By button launches the Group By dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down that appears under the Group Items by section to select a field by which you can group the items within your view. This is usually only used for the table style view as it will group the same values in the selected field or fields into expandable and collapsible groups within your table view. You can select up to four fields by which to group. You can also set whether they will be grouped in ascending or descending order by selecting the desired sorting option at the right end of each grouped field. When you're done, click the OK button to set the grouping for your view. Clicking the Sort button launches the Sort dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down available under the Sort Items By and Then By sections to indicate by which field or fields you want to sort the view. You can sort by up to four fields and they can be sorted in either ascending order or descending order by selecting the appropriate option at the right end of each field. When you're done here, you can click the OK button to set the sorting for your view. 
Clicking the Filter button launches the Filter dialog box. This dialog box consists of four tabs, Messages, More Choices, Advanced, and SQL. You click on the tab that you want to use to set criteria that will include or exclude certain items in your view. On the Messages tab, you can choose criteria that will allow you to filter by various common email fields. On the More Choices tab, you can choose criteria that will allow you to filter by assigned categories, message statuses, message option settings, and other more advanced filtering possibilities. On the Advanced tab, you can use the Field drop-down to select from any of the available fields in Outlook that you want to use as a filter. You then use the Condition drop-down to select Comparison Condition and, if needed, type the value to which you want to compare the field's value into the last text box. That will then add it to the list above. Clicking the SQL tab allows you to create a statement using structured query language to select which items you wish to see. You can do this if you are familiar with how SQL is used in the Outlook application. When you are done creating any filters necessary for your view, click the OK button to set the desired filters for your view. Clicking the Other Settings button launches the Other Settings dialog box. Here you can adjust the font display of the items in your view. The content available here will change depending on the style of view that you are trying to create. Make any adjustments that you wish and then click the OK button to apply them to your new view. Clicking the Conditional Formatting button, or the Automatic Formatting button as it's called in Outlook 2007, launches the Conditional Formatting dialog box or the Automatic Formatting dialog box in Outlook 2007. Here you can set new rules to apply a default formatting to items that meet a given criteria. There are some rules already in place in this dialog box, and you can add more. To add a new rule, click the Add button at the right side of this dialog box. It will add a new rule to the list. Type a name for the rule into the Name text box, and then click the Font button to set the font formatting that the item should use when the condition that you are about to specify is met. Click OK in the Font dialog box to then set the font. You then click the Condition button to set up the filter that, when met, applies the formatting you selected. Now after setting the filter, click the OK button to apply it. Then click the OK button again when finished setting your conditional formatting. If using a table view in Outlook, you can click the Format Columns button to specify a display format for each field that you have in your view. Just select the name of the field whose display you wish to modify from the Available Fields list at the left side of the dialog box, and then change its settings at the right side of the dialog box. When you are finished, click OK to apply the changes to your view. When you are satisfied with all of the view's settings, click the OK button in the Advanced View Settings dialog box, or the Customize View dialog box if you're using 2007, to return to the Manage All Views dialog box, or the Custom View Organizer if you're using 2007. You will now see the name of your new view shown in the list of views available within the dialog box. To apply your view, just click on its name to select it from the list, and then click the Apply View button that appears at the bottom of the dialog box. Now if you're using Outlook 2010, you can also select the name of the view from the drop-down menu that appears when you click the Change View button that appears in the Current View group on the View tab within the ribbon. Now if using Outlook 2007, 
Your view will also appear in the side menu that is shown when you select View and then roll over the Current View command within the menu bar. Note that if you want to modify a view that you have created, you can select the name of the view from the listing shown in the Advanced View Settings dialog box or the Customized View dialog box in 2007 and then click the Modify button at the right side of the dialog box. Also, in this same area, you can select the name of a custom view that you have created and then click the Delete button to delete it if you will no longer need to use the view. When you finished using the Advanced View Settings dialog box or the Customize View dialog box if using 2007, click the Close button at the bottom of the dialog box to return to the mailbox folder view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.